All right, so uh, gas tank's in. And so now we're ready to uh, just connect all these hoses to the, um, I don't know what you'd call this, but yeah, to this. Um, so we're gonna block off the on, we're gonna block that off and then just run the main to the reserve, just so it's like the lowest point in the tank, um, since we're bypassing the pet cock. So uh, yeah, and then you run the um, return right here. So yeah, so uh, pretty simple stuff. So let's just hook it up. All right, so uh, we got the fuel all hooked up. I have a little uh, tank vent on there for the vent. And then I just blocked off the uh, one, like we said. And then uh, now we just need to do the oil, hook up the oil lines. So uh, there's a big nozzle or a big little um, end, whatever, on uh, this, which is the top of the, goes to the top of the uh, oil tank. And then there's a big one on the bottom. So we need to hook up those two. And I probably shouldn't slip that in there, but yeah, well, we'll get those to you and then uh, we should be able to put them on. All right, so uh, before we install the oil tank, we're gonna go ahead and uh, set this in there. Just like this. And then go ahead and uh, clamp that down. So now that we got that clamped down, now we're gonna go ahead and slide the oil tank. All right, so uh, we just got the oil tank installed. Uh, we latched all the straps together, and uh, we also put that little um, sensor in. Um, the easiest way to do that is just to take the grommet off and then put it in the tank and then slide that uh, sensor in. It's kind of confusing, but you know what I mean if you have to do one. Um, yeah, and then we got the uh, oil lines hooked up. So this is just the uh, return and then uh, I got the clear tube um, going to the bottom to the uh, rotary valve, so that's all good. Just kind of focus like that. So uh, yeah, so now uh, we're ready to drive and starter. Also, uh, these are kind of not hard to uh, forget, but got to do the um, oil um, hose and the uh, gas hose. So clamp those down, and uh, now we're ready to uh, pull it out and uh, try to starter. All right, so uh, we just pulled the ski out and uh, we got the water hose hooked up to it. So uh, yeah, just make sure you start it before you uh, turn the hose on and then uh, turn the hose off before you kill it. So yeah, let's do it, see what it sounds like. So uh, as you heard, she sounds really healthy. And uh, yeah, I'm pumped, thought it's a uh, ripper. Um, that pump noise, like I was saying in the video, I'm pretty sure that's just normal. So uh, all the videos I watched, the pumps are making lots of noise. So I don't think anything's going bad on it. Um, so yeah, uh, our next step is to probably take it to the lake and uh, see if it rips. Or uh, we, actually, actually, we actually have to get it uh, registered first. We have the title and everything, so. That should be no problem, and then uh, we should be able to root. So, uh, yeah, uh, this is probably the end of this video. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, please subscribe. We have uh, big things coming this way. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching.